Welcome back, everyone. Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. And today, we're going to be checking out two fairly brand new action figures under the DC Multiverse and its subsidiary, the 7-inch Page Punchers line. That's the line that is a couple bucks extra and you get a comic book. Now, this one came in from Walmart. This is Batman, believe it or not. They have Batman figures in the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. It is Dick Grayson as Batman. It is not Bruce Wayne as Batman. And, of course, this hails from the storyline Batman Reborn. When Frank quietly drew the comic, Batman and Robin, and you had Grant Morrison writing it, you get the idea. Here's the barcode if you are searching for this in the store. Then we have the Page Puncher 7-inch scale Robin, Damian Wayne, which looks awesome. He was on display at San Diego Comic-Con. This is one where I'm not exactly a huge Damian Wayne fan, but Dagnabbit, that looks like a great figure, and I found mine at GameStop, so those are starting to hit, as well as Walmart's. And if you're looking, here's the barcode to make it easier for you to find. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at two brand new DC Multiverse action figures, Batman, Dick Grayson, and Robin, Damian Wayne, by McFarlane Toys. And here's everything taken out of the packaging. It's nice to have, well, we'll say more of a modernish take on Batman and Robin. As far as Dick Grayson Batman goes, he comes with extra hands, outstretched creepy hands, or young ward consoling hands, informing Damian Wayne that unbeknownst to all of them, Bruce Wayne is simply time traveling, not dead, and Tim Drake has yet to solve that mystery. Now, I would say, why doesn't Batman have any bat gadgets? It's kind of like a thing. That should be a thing. And lo and behold, he has fisted hands with some bat tasers attached, and I love it, because if you gotta give Clock King the old one-two, yes, you can definitely oblige him. That is an excellent accessory for this Dick Grayson Batman, because it's kind of the main reasons I got this. The Robin kind of sealed the fate. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I kind of need that Dick Grayson Batman. That looks pretty good. The head portrait is phenomenal. It's stellar. It captures that Frank Quietly look from afar. It looks all good with the squinty eyes. It's going to be the same exact body type we've seen with a couple improvements to make it more of that Dick Grayson reborn Batman with his gauntlets that are little rings, basically. And then you got the belt and a larger bat emblem. But Yes, overall, I am very happy with this figure because I would say that if I showed this to about 80% of you out there, you'd go, yeah, that's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> it's okay. It's his Batman. You can treat it for whoever it is underneath the cowl. It makes no difference. But you're going to get that same exact articulation that you know and love with McFarlane Toys if you are collecting the DC Multiverse line. So nothing crazy to see here except for the really cool taffeta wired cape it's a little bit more of that crunchy material but it looks really good it has a nice sheen the bendy wire is very strong you can get all those cool comic book poses and for that alone it makes this batman figure really stand out so it's very cool it's very well done i love the accessories the articulation you get the idea the paint is great the head portrait in particular and that oh so nice cape yes this is yet another Batman for your DC Multiverse shelf, but Dagnabbit, it's a pretty good looking Batman. And I'll save you some time. So's the Robin. But there are some nitpicks like, well, it's the same old accessory of sword that we have seen various other Damian Wayne Robin figures, and there are a ton have come with before. You can utilize it however which way you want. It's just okay. I would like to see more bat gadgets with Robin figures, but this in particular is awesome. It is a broken Professor Pig mask, and I would hope that this is a little bit of a wink and a nod to an upcoming Professor Pig. Heck, release it like you did Victor's ass. Put it on a collector's side if it's too weird or creepy for the kid's toy aisle. I would love a Professor Pig figure. The paint on it is supoib, but just as a heads up, if you want to have any characters holding the mask, like you see in the picture here, go very easy with it because that cool pink paint that's on that pink pig mask, it's going to come right off. The actual Damian Wayne Robin figure from afar, up close, 
it looks like a McFarlane Mezco figure in many ways. And I know a lot of people are going to roll their eyes and go, oh, sure. It does. It looks really good. The head portrait's amazing. You got blue amidst the black hair. The mask has a little bit of shading to it. It's very subtle, but it works. And that is Damian Wayne brought to life in action figure form in that head portrait. That is amazing. Now, I believe there's some reuse here and there, but if I look at the comic book art and I look at the cover of the comic that's included, I would say it's close enough for Damian Wayne, and I really like what they did here. Just that subtle shading, even on the front of the costume, it looks great. You have some all black legs, some knee pads, and you got the green boots with the laces and the gauntlets and the belt. But overall, yeah, I would say it looks pretty cool. And if you were wondering if there's anything on the back, no, it's just the rest of the red and the black and the green. So nothing crazy to see there. Although I will say this, as far as nitpicking it goes, they should have had a more higher high top to him but I know it's a reuse, I get the idea. The mask, the head portrait, the costume, the yellow cape, that wired up makes it look great. I absolutely love that, it just makes it more dramatic. The fact that this version of Robin mixed with that version of Batman, both with wired capes, that's phenomenal, that's what I like to see. And lo and behold, he does have a wired hood because for those of you who may not know, Damian Wayne has a hood in the comics that he would pull up and it doesn't look very good in terms of the action figure though. I'm glad that it's usually kept down. For whatever reason, mine doesn't wanna go all the way up. It seems like the head is cumbersome, it's too high up so you can't pull the hood off. There's not enough material to it. So while it has all that extra material to do it, you can't really achieve a good look at pose with it. I'm glad it's there. It doesn't really work all that great. You can kind of see it from the front, but you do get a lot of head rotation all the way up side to side. The arms, the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You get a little spin in the gauntlet right there and you got the gloved hands moves up and down. Some extra hands would have been lovely. Go really easy with the midsection right here. There's some paint. As you can see, there's some cell shading, comic book shading. I wouldn't stress that too much. I believe that you'll start to see some crackage in that rubber. So that's kind of a bummer. Just go very easy with it. But he does have a waist. He can kick all the way out, which looks pretty good. I like that you get the double jointed knees and you got plenty of articulation in the feet, the toes and everything else. These two figures are very well articulated in terms of what McFarlane Toys offers. And that's cool when you want a Batman and a Robin on your shelf. So when you get them all posed out, you got Batman with the bat gadgets and you got Robin with the sword, which yes, it does fit Damian Wayne's character, but let's see something different every once in a while. But if you get a couple flight stands, maybe they're jumping from a rooftop through a skylight and they're gonna beat up a bunch of mafia guys or Toad and Professor Pig or whatever you want to pose them with. But we need those characters if you're going to do these two. And if you're wondering how do these scale up, sure, the new Tim Drake Robin will look good with this Damian Wayne Robin and this Dick Grayson Batman. And sure, why not? I'll post more photos on my Insta and social so you can see more comparisons. I don't want to bore you. Truth be told, how many comparisons can you see over and over? You get it. If you're collected DC Multiverse, these all go together nicely. It's a nice look of Batman. It's a great Damian Wayne Robin. I'm very happy with it for a new type of Batman and Robin. So again, they are hitting store shelves now. Use those barcodes and have a great time of searching this weekend if you are looking. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, no, while this may not be Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, it is Dick Grayson and Damian Wayne, which is the son of Bruce Wayne. So if you're not confused by everything and anything DC Comics by now, just call this Batman and Robin and you'll be good to go. And when you are, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.